Hey, you're back. Finally. I almost thought you ran away. <laughs> you don't really like this movie, do you? Be honest. You know what? Me neither. Unrealistic, romantic garbage. Let's turn this off. Let's talk. Come sit beside me. You know what I want to talk about. Did you enjoy what we did yesterday? I wasn't too rough with you, right? Good. So you would like to repeat it, is what you're saying, right? Okay, okay, good. We will have to work on some things before that, though. I'll tell you later. Don't worry about it. Did you drink a lot of water, like I told you to? Perfect. <laughs> Once again, don't worry about it. Everything will make sense later. It will help us train you even better. <laughs> Stop asking. All of a sudden, your mouth gets so active, asking all those questions. Where was all that yesterday, on our first date? <laughs> okay. Well, since you want to talk so bad now, why don't you tell me if you like this outfit? Do I look good in it? <laughs> and there you go. All of a sudden, the shy boy makes an unexpected return. So adorable. But seriously, I want to know, do you like it? Good answer. I'm glad. So, what do you want to do today? Do you want to go to the beach again? We can stay at the house. I don't mind. My house is cool, ain't it? Nice and big. Way nicer than your parents, isn't it? <laughs> See? When you're on your own, you can make things your way. And if you moved in, we could make things our way. Yes, I mean what you think I mean. Well, I know it may be too fast, but what's the point of waiting? Other than how people do it, is there really any good reason? One thing about me, I don't like copying what other people do. I like doing my own thing. Do you want to do your own thing with me? <laughs> okay, I'll give you time. I know it's a tough decision for a young adult like yourself. I guess we should prepare your parents first, too. I bet they would cause a lot of trouble. I don't really need that kind of drama. Tell me something. I know you like it when I take control of everything. When I'm in charge of everything. But how much are you willing to submit for me? Will you do absolutely everything I say? You think so? That's not a very sure answer. Like I said, I have some plans for us later today. 
but I need to know that you completely trust me and that you will do as I say without hesitation. No, it's nothing bad or illegal, silly. <laughs> I'm a lifeguard. Do you think I'm into some nonsense? It's something that you will really like. However, only if you follow my commands perfectly. Do you think you can do that? You think you're a good enough listener? How about your obedience? Can you be a really, really good boy for me? <laughs> You always do that when I say those words. Good boy. You squirm when I call you that. It's a great sign. Good boy. <laughs> oh, I love it. I love it. Such a cutie you are. All mine, aren't you? That's what I like to hear. If you want to be with me, you must know your role in our relationship. And you must be respectful. Remember, I'm older than you. You can't treat me like you would any girl your age. I'll be making a lot of the decisions. I want you to trust me and know that I have our best interests at heart. I'll be taking care of you in every way. That means emotionally, physically, and financially. I want you to feel secure and taken care of in our relationship. And, in return, I expect you to be a good listener and always follow my lead. You know, all the things I've already said. That's all I want. I don't need much. Just a good boy like you. I'm not ready just yet, but... Maybe in a week or two, I plan on introducing you to my little circle of closest friends. It will be an all-woman kind of thing. That should do for testing your loyalty. You may think that's a bit too much, but you're young. There's a chance every woman may still appear as a goddess to you. I need to make sure that only I am your goddess. Yeah? Well, if you say so, then you should have nothing to worry about, right? No matter what happens, I know how men work. Very visual. Most of you, easily impressed by mediocrity. The test is absolutely necessary. I need to make sure I can keep you. I need to make sure you're worthy of me. That you won't run away when given a chance, to somebody who may appear as good as me. I'm not insecure, by the way, just experienced. Some people think a little bit of jealousy is the worst thing in the world. I think it's a sign of care. I mean, there's confidence, and then there is delusion. Right? Everybody is different. I know I got it, but I can't be a hundred percent sure of anything. You may say I'm the best mommy dom you've ever had, but those are just words, right? <laughs> I like that you're sort of taking offense to all of this. Perhaps you need to work a little harder 
to make me believe you completely. Remember that thing I told you about that we would do later today? That could be one thing to prove yourself. It's something like what we did yesterday when we left the beach. Only a bit different. Well, much different, actually. Way more controlling. <laughs> what is it? What is it? I take that as you're being very excited right now, yeah? Well, if you want to find out, you will have to follow me to my bedroom first. Are you sure? You don't even know what it is. What if it's something too advanced? <laughs> you don't even care at this point, do you? So eager. Oh, really? You know whatever mommy has in mind will be good? Look at you. This will be fun. Give me your hand and come with me 